Okay. Okay, ready? Wait, I'm so nervous. Ready? Wait. Okay. Want me to count down? Okay. Yes. Okay. Three, two, one. Hello. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Museum Television. My name is Peg, and I'm going to show you how to make a traditional Victorian Christmas ornament. Now, it's a busy time of year. We don't have a ton of time to read instructions or, you know. I got a bad feeling about this. So I've looked at the photo, and I feel like I have a pretty good idea of how to make these. That's just how easy this is going to be. So from what I can gather, you need strips of paper. You can use wrapping paper, newspaper, Paper paper, I found this really cool scrapbook paper, probably at a scrapbook store or dollar store or in the closet or under the bed or wherever you keep your scrapbook paper. And I have some beads because I feel like I need beads. I have some twine, a stapler and scissors. Okay, so let's get started. So it looks like to me we need seven strips of paper and so I'm just gonna put down seven strips of paper. I don't really have a lot of time for that. So now I'm going to put together, it looks like there's three on the outside, three on the other side, and one in the center. Um, the one in the center is going to be cut shorter because we're trying to get the arc, the arch, a bend, half of a circle. So, okay, so I'm gonna make this blue one my shorter one. And here we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna attach this one and I'm gonna use a stapler. I'm going for it, okay? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so quick. And you can use these, I think, on, um, you know, a gift topper full of smokes. Halfway there, it looks nice. like. Uh-oh, okay, right. Now, I just started to think I need a longer strip on the outside, right? which I didn't think about until just now. So quickly, I'm just gonna cut a longer, uh-oh, uh, uh, uh <laughs> I'm starting over, I'm starting over. Okay, see, this is why you should read instructions, but I think what my point is, you don't always have to read instructions. Okay, so here's my middle one, okay? I'm staple. I don't know, guys, is this right? This is gonna be great. And then my outer strip is slightly longer than the second strip. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, this is looking good. Okay, and now another strip that I should have measured the second. Oh, okay. Also, I feel like this is a lot of staples. Surely there's another way to make it not so staply. And now my final strip on the outside, this amazing acid green color, which I think is a pretty, um, on, this is a lot of staples. I'm thinking you could probably, Erica, look. Yeah. Erica's my incredible assistant, creative director and camera person. Nailed it, Good. but I'm not done yet because we need to hang this little sucker on that tree branch or however you want to do it. So I'm going to cut some twine. It, oh my gracious. And this is my own added touch. I'm going to string some beads on the twine like this. Wow. I don't have a lot. I don't have a lot of time. I'm busy. I'm busy. Very busy. I'm a busy, busy. Busy life. Okay, so two beads. Now three. Listen, three is always better in design. I'm gonna do three, okay? So cute. Guess what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna staple this. Okay, ready? No, God! You ready, Erica? No, okay. God, please, okay. no! Oh. I might actually think the stapler is one of the greatest inventions. And <laughs> two staples. Ta-da! What a beautiful, beautiful ornament. Wow, you know, staples. 
Enjoy!